Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and his lovely wife is here. Hello. And, uh, yeah, we have a bunch of beers. We are here at um, Barnhammer in Winnipeg, uh, on Wall Street in Winnipeg. Um, we're going to do their signature beers first, because that's what's right in front of me. Uh, I don't know what they all are, because these ones they didn't mark, but hey, um, well, let's start with what we know, Grandpa's Sweater. Grandpa's Sweater is 5.4% alcohol, that's this one right here, oatmeal stout. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, that's actually really, really nice. Easy drinking. Nice mouthfeel. Chocolate, cocoa, coffee, burnt wood. That's a really good stout. Not as tobacco-y. No, not as tobacco -y. And remember, we were talking about whether or not that was like a thing here, but this one doesn't come off with that. Um, next would be the seventh stab which is 6.3% alcohol, it's a red ale. Which one do you think that next one is? I think it's the red ale. Which is what? Uh, I'm talking about this one. Which one? Oh, this one? I think this is the lousy picnic and It doesn't really smell like much. Cheers, let's go. Very, very earthy, very dirty, very mud pie-like. Uh, so this guy, I would give like an 8.5. This guy, probably a 6. I mean, it's not bad. You think this is the lousy beatnik? Mm -hmm. So this could be the Keller beer. This could be the IPA. We'll find out real quick, though. That's the Keller beer. So lousy beatnik. Cheers. Could oh. this be the IPA? It could be, but it could also be the Whitbeer. You're not going to like that. I'm not a big fan of that myself. Like dishwater. Like very dishwater. Um, I would give that maybe a four. Maybe. So those two good. That one not so good. So this is either the IPA, which was what? Okay, so this is either the Saturday Night Lumberjack, which is what I'm going to guess it is because it's a little darker, or the Whitbeer. Which is the Sleek Bougie. Mm, kind of bready and stuff. It's probably the Whitbeer. I didn't try it yet. It's really nice though, like some cloves, some uh, some breadiness, some biscuitiness, drying. That's actually a really nice beer. About a 10 on that, honey? A 6. Okay, so I was an 8, 5, like a 7, a 4, and I'd say a 7. Hi to whoever is viewing right now. What do we have here? This one is the Strawberry Milkshake IPA. This is the Moonlight Desires, which is the Pumpkin Saison. This is the... I'm gonna go with this is the Wall to Wall, which is the Hazy Pale Ale. And this is the... I have no idea. Okay, so... This is D-I-P-A. A double IPA. Which is, I don't know which one that is. Oh, that would be the Saturday Night Lumberjack. Good day, Shawnee boy. How are you? It's going good. We are still here in Winnipeg right now. So this is the, uh, which? The Saturday Night Lumberjack. Okay, double Saturday Night Lumberjack Double IPA. So, ABV? Uh, 7.5. 7.5, okay. Crystal clear, nice color. Mm. Very, very, very hoppy on the nose. Yeah, lots of rind, lots of uh, orange rind. 
Alpine. No, you're not even doing it? No. Okay, what's next? Um, the Waltz Hall, which is a hazy pale ale. Okay, hazy pale ale, probably close to the same. Hopefully not as rhiny and uh, alcoholic on the back end. Ah, Bose full time. There's a nice beer. Okay. There is actually a lot of orange and a lot of grapefruit on there. You can just help me get like that before I drink it. Do you enjoy the full time there, Shawnee boy? No? Next. The pumpkin, which is the moonlight desires. Moonlight which? Moonlight desires. Moonlight the desires. So we're looking at a smoked pumpkin saison. So let's just move these over this way like this. Boom. Smoked pumpkin saison. Crystal clear. It looks good. There you are. Um, lots of clove. Lots of nutmeg. Clove, nutmeg, dryness. Um, yeah, I, that's not bad. I'd give that a 7. Oh, I didn't rate these guys. Um, I'd say a 5, a 7, and a 7. I had a wicked awesome IPA that I was supposed to drink before we came to Winnipeg, but it stayed in my uh, in-laws fridge. I'm sure it's still going to be there when we get back. But, uh, what was this one? This one's a strawberry milkshake IPA. Okay, strawberry milkshake IPA, and that, is that the name of it? Strawberry milkshake. Stri strawberry milkshake, okay. Hazy crazy. Um, that is hazier than hazy. Oh, lots of lacto sweetness, lots of strawberry, lots of rind. But you know what? Of all the milkshake IPAs we've had, it's probably one of the best. Actually, I don't mind that. Yeah. I don't like IPAs. Um, I would give that an eight. That's a really good beer. What do we have next, honey? Black Sparrow. Okay, Black Sparrow. Which is an extra special bitter. Okay, ESB. Um, there's a lot of snow in Winnipeg right now. There was a lot of snow last week. There's, most of it has melted. Uh, when I get back to the hotel, I might do a, a vlog about this last week. But um, Winnipeg seems really, really bad at plowing. Like, they leave the mountains of snow at the end of the, the sidewalk, so you have to walk on the road. That type of thing. Okay, so an ESB, Black Sparrow. Beautiful color. That's like a ruby red. Hey Ashley, how are you? But Ashley, that is actually that's actually done really well for what it is. A little bready, a little biscuity, a little fruity, both a little bit of like berry note and apple note. Um, smooth, easy drinking. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Cheers to yourself. Uh, I'd give that a seven as well. You're, uh, we have a lot of beers here, sir. Uh, next. 66. 66? Okay, New England IPA, so this is another one that Alicia will hate. Mm-hmm. Hazy crazy, golden color. Looks nice. Mmm, a little bit of mango on the nose. There you go. Uh, so, what did you think? What do you mean when I think? What did you think of that? Really want to know what I think? Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, so lots of lots of orange, lots of grapefruit, lots of peel, and actually a, a lot of pine came out on that too. Next, I'd give it a six myself. I don't have a big fan of the style anymore. SKOIPA, which is some kind of IPA. Okay, so the SKO IPA. So what's going on? What's going on in Ontario? How is how is Welland there, Ashley? Hmm. None of these really have much on the nose. Like, very bready, very biscuity. 
like really, really bready and biscuity. Not too, too much hops on it, but very bready and biscuity. South African hops. Okay. You looked up SCO? What? No, it says some kind of IPA with South okay. African hops. I read the sign. Nothing exciting in Welland? Well, there were some exciting things here. Um, last one. This was Witch Hunt, but they say Lemon Rubio's Tea Fit Beer. Lemon Rubio's Tea? Okay, so an African tea. tea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that actually sounds really interesting. Let's get to that. Uh, we are originally from Ontario, as you know, Shawnee boy. Um, we are going to Nunavik in about two weeks. Uh, so we're here in Edmonton training. And yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be heading to Nunavik in northern Quebec in a few weeks to Pouvernetuk. Uh, no, the jet, jet games were too too expensive. We looked into it. I think there's only one more before we leave, too. Oh. That tastes a lot like the pumpkin one, like clove, um, very, very botanical. Yes, I know. Vanilla. That's really nice. You tend to mix Rubio's with like those chai flavors. Yeah. Uh, yes, we're moving out of Ontario. Um, so we will be gone, like I said, in two weeks. Uh, we'll be back for a day or two, and then we're on our way out. Everything's packed. It's in bins here in Winnipeg at head office. And it uh, gets shipped out in uh, about a week and a half to our location. If our house is built by then, because our house is still on a sea lift barge. It gets there this weekend. It's supposed to get there this weekend. We'll see if it actually does or not, but hey. Fingers crossed. Yeah, so uh, there, there was the beers. You guys have anything you want to talk about? I mean, it's just the three of us, plus her. And I got to drink some beers now. Uh, let's try and remember which ones were the worst, so I can get rid of them first. Um, this guy, the Keller beer. And the Keller beer. Um, this was the double IPA, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the double IPA will come off because that one wasn't all that great. Um, yeah. Well, Um, you say that, but go look the place up that we're going to. It's uh, P-U-V-I-R-N-I-T-U-Q, Pervinituk. Um, it's at the very mouth of the Hudson Bay. It's on the 58th or 59th parallel, so just below the Arctic Circle. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting time. Uh, the town has 1,700 people, 50% of them are under the age of 21, and yeah, 12 pack of Rickards Red is $100. That really isn't that good. That Keller beer legitimately tasted like dirty water. But I mean, there was only like two of them I didn't like on this 12 beer flight, so that's that's pretty good. Um, we gotta go back to Tork. Tork has a, a chocolate beer Alicia wants to try and a pumpkin beer I want to try that came out last week. And other than that, I think um, Stone Angel is the only other brewery I want to get to. There After that, there is, uh, there's like four other breweries in town that we don't have to go to or care to really Fort Gary on the other side the other ones are all on the other side of town really yeah there. Um, like far far away and th it's not really anything uh, everything is really expensive up there Shawnee boy it's a uh, it's a fly-in community you can't get there by road it's uh, it's an Inuit community so we're, we're going up to the Inuit communities um, It'll be fun. It'll be something different. <sighs> so 
So what were we saying? Um, Fort Gary, we're not going to hit Fort Gary. We're not going to hit Trans Canada. Um, we were going to go to Nonsuch, but that day Alicia didn't feel too good. And then that last time we were down there, it was closed. And really, Nonsuch doesn't seem like it's something I really have to get to. Um, I don't really have to get to any of them, but Stone Angel is uh, all German style beers, and I'm actually intrigued to get some rock beer and stuff. Um, not particularly. I mean, uh, you're not really going to even be able to ship beer up there because, not easily at least, because it, it'll freeze. Oh, we're not we're not off grid. Um, we're running stores up there, and we're going to be running some retail positions. Drinking the pumpkin saison organic has that like little bubblegum like flavor. It's it's kind of interesting. Okay, so what are we hit? What, where have we gone? We've gone to one great city. We've gone to Torque. Mm -hmm. Gone to Half Pints. We've come here. Is that? Oh, and Sucrans. So we've done five breweries so far. Probably thirty beers between the five breweries, and. They actually all were really good, except for a handful. Out of those five breweries, there might have been like six or seven beers that we didn't enjoy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and yeah, on average, it was... Sucrans had four. Everybody else, we didn't even try everything they had. We did two flights at the other places. Yeah, but that was pretty much everything. Yeah. So everyone, everyone else, we did two flights at. Um, so eight beers at yeah they have so we've had eight eight 16 24 29 so 41 actually a pretty good uh, ratio and when you figure my uh, my wife has actually liked some of them that's an even better ratio uh yeah I guess, I guess if nobody has anything else, we'll, we'll leave you for now. Uh, like I said, when we get back to the hotel, I might do a vlog tonight. I might wait to do it till tomorrow. Um, but we, we have some stuff to talk about. We have, we've been trying to do two a week, and really this week I've been slacking because we've been, we've been busy. We've been on the go almost every single day. And it's, it's been, been go, go, go. So I've been slacking a little bit, so uh, maybe tomorrow we'll get this week and we'll only do one this week and then we'll do two next week and the week after. Uh, there is no reserves in Inuit land. Uh, so there will be no living on any native reserves because Inuit land, there is no reserves. Yes, we'll be in Inuit territory. We will be in Inuit territory, yes. The only ones that don't have reserves are the Inuits. Uh, well, and the Métis technically, too, but the Métis don't really have any of their No, because, well, the Métis were yeah. native and English. Well, native and Brit uh, European. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to you, too, there's Ashley. And, yeah, like I said, I'll either do my vlog tonight or tomorrow. And whenever we do it, you can ask any questions you want, as usual. Thank you, guys. Bye.